that you're here today we're gonna to be doing a little postpartum prep vlog I have been watching these myself like crazy on YouTube um, just to kind of get some inspo and kind of see different things I need I am gonna be a first-time mom so I just like to deep dive into everything I like to research everything I like to watch other people do things um, so I just go ham and go I just dive into a deep hole of whatever I am currently interested in and that's kind of what has happened postpartum wise so I figured I'd make a video like this myself and kind of talk about things that I've been learning and how I am prepping I remember if I already said this but I'm 37 weeks pregnant right now um so we don't have a lot of time um we have three ish weeks of course we don't actually know so I have been just nesting like crazy um especially on the weekend I just I go ham so i'm going to show you all different things that i have already gotten done things i'm still working on um everything from like meals that i'm planning for postpartum um that are going to be good for like breastfeeding and just recovering to my little carts that i have like little diaper carts that i can take around the house um and then a little there's just a lot okay so i'm gonna show you all the different things how i'm organizing it the oven just went off but how i'm organizing it and yeah i hope this is helpful for you if you have any tips and tricks below please let me know i love learning different things and so yeah let's get started we are first going to start out in the kitchen prepping meals um i will say the lighting in my kitchen it kind of stinks so i don't know if i'll do like a voiceover or just kind of show you like I don't know we'll figure it out but my plan today is to make bone broth bone broth soup um little protein balls my goal is to kind of start trialing some different meals and if i like them then i'm gonna just start making more than i usually would and freeze um the additional ones so then we have a freezer full of different things um that we can just pull from and it'll be really easy so let's get started okay so first we're gonna make some bone broth i'm just gonna get it started in the pressure cooker um you can do it in a crock pot or whatever so we bought these from a local farm um where it's like grass fed grass finished organic really high quality um bones and they do meat and all that too but this is gonna make a good bit of bone broth so you actually get a you know more bang for your buck of course when you make it yourself um, and then I'm going to add some carrots and celery in there, apple cider vinegar. This is an onion that I've already started to peel, bay leaves, pepper, garlic, um, and then some water. And then I think it pressure cooks for like four hours. So I'm going to get this started and yeah, we're going to have a bunch of this on hand. Um, it's really healing and really good for you postpartum and just in general. So I figured I'm gonna make a bunch of this and freeze a lot of it um, to have on hand for when, um, yeah, I'm healing. Thank you. 
Okay, so I actually just read that if you roast the bones before um, you make it, you actually get a richer bone broth. So I'm going to do that. So while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to start on the bone broth soup that I'm going to do. I have bone broth already in my pantry, so um, I'm going to use that for the soup. But yeah, let's get started on that. I'll link the recipe down below, but this is basically what I'm making. I found it on Instagram. Um, it's like a chicken verde bone broth soup, so I'm excited. It looks really good. This is what I'm going to get started on. Okay, well here are all the ingredients. I'm sad because I ordered chicken bone broth yesterday in our grocery pickup, and I realized that we didn't get it, but we already have this on hand, so I think it'll be fine. <laughs> But yeah, now I'm just going to start cooking the chicken. Okay, so I have a timer going for the chicken to cook with the salsa, which is like 15 minutes. And then another timer going for roasting the bones for the bone broth. That is 30 minutes. Um, so now I'm going to start working on these protein balls. Um, I'll put all the recipes that I'm finding down below. But what I'm kind of going for postpartum are foods that are really healing. Um, I've learned a lot recently that like, which now when I say this, I feel like it's common sense, but postpartum is such a vulnerable time for the mother and just healing. And I'm helping your body get back to a place like, you know, obviously after you have a baby, your hormones are all over the place and <clears throat> you're just very, very vulnerable in a lot of different ways. So my goal is to just basically give my body the best of what i can the best of the best and help it heal things that are soothing things that are warm um so i'm finding meals that go alongside that as well as meals that um help keep my blood sugar balanced i still am going to do that i just feel better overall that way um and foods that are going to help with lactation so i am going to be nursing um, and those are kind of all things that are in my mind when I am finding different recipes or things to meal prep. So now I'm going to start making protein balls while I'm waiting for these things to cook. Um, I'll add the recipe down below that I'm using. Um, but yeah, it's just high in protein and these are going to kind of be like little lactation bombs. Um, right now I don't have everything that I need to actually make that. I do have the protein. Um, there's like some Greek yogurt in them and stuff like that, but I still need to get some like um, flaxseed and brewer's yeast and stuff that um, seem to help with lactation. So that is my plan is kind of start with a baseline, see if I like these and kind of just keep finding or adding things that will help me with my milk supply and things that I like. So we're gonna make our first batch, see how we like them. Um, and I also need to make egg bites. I just remembered that. That is mainly for me to just eat this week and take to work. <laughs> so we have a lot to do and I have to go somewhere in like an hour and a half. So here we go. I'm also always just doing the most and I made this note <laughs> and shared it with Asher um, of different postpartum meals and things that can like if the baby is colic, different potential triggers, um, things that boost milk supply, just different things that I found and researched. Um, I'm probably actually going to keep all of my meals quite warm at the beginning. Um, I can get into that in a little bit, but basically like warm, soothing foods and easy to digest foods are really good. So I'm going to rethink the breakfast options. Um, and then let's see, here's the bone broth soup that I'm trying to make. So different things that I'm trying. Um, and here are the protein balls that I am going to make. I will link down below, a little sipper. All of her stuff is always really clean. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going for right now. Okay, so here are the ingredients I'm using for this. Clean lean protein. This is actually Lil Sipper's protein herself. It is very clean ingredients. Like I said, everything she does is always like, so like the best of the best, high quality, very clean. Um, and yeah, it's got probiotics in it. Then just some Greek yogurt, some little chocolate chips, and some nut butter. So that's it. Um, and like I said, as I get more ingredients, I'll probably make these into like lactation bomb type situations. Also, I want to show you this. So if you're pregnant, then you know red raspberry leaf tea, I'm sure you've heard of it, is good to drink towards the end. 
I literally got this huge one pound organic loose leaf red raspberry leaf tea for $15. This is a brand. Um, so I like, like I'll make it in bulk in this. And what I'm going to try to start doing is doing this on the weekends and trying to drink this whole thing like in a day plus my water we'll see how that goes or i have like a little tea thing that i can put it in but yeah i just have been trying to drink it every morning um but it's a really good deal and loose leaf is the best so if you haven't gotten that yet or if you're thinking about it i really highly recommend this brand okay so we have the protein balls um i ended up adding a little bit of coconut sugar just to give it a little bit of flavor. It basically just tasted like Greek yogurt, to be honest. Um, but I think it's a great baseline for like, if you want a protein ball and something to grab, like start with this and then you can add things that you like that will make you like the taste more. Um, but they're pretty good now. And also I forgot to mention, I'm gonna use this for labor snacks. So like when I'm actually in labor, I'm gonna take things with me um, these and then like some protein, like chomps, um, uh, meat sticks. So, and some other things, but, um, yeah, if you can eat during labor, I feel like this would be a really good, easy to grab thing while you are laboring. Um, and it's really high protein and yeah, really good. And then over here, the bones are done nice and roasted. Um, so I'm going to get those in here and then the soup is done and I just tried it and it's really freaking good. So I'm excited. Um, I'm going to take this for lunch this week and then make a batch just to put in the freezer. Okay. So postpartum, I got this little tote, um, or whatever you want to call it. Um, my sister got it for me, but I got off Amazon or she did. I decided to have this as my postpartum kit um just to be able to take to the different bathrooms that we have um really easily so okay so over here i have these chucks pads um to just lay on the couch or the bed um just for the first few days um just so things don't get on our couch or the bed um here i have these um cotton cover they're like period underwear or like adult diapers let's be honest um so i got this brand as well as their pads that's what is right here and right here that i can just take to the bathroom depending on what i need as well as the frida um disposable underwear so then this and these you kind of put together um, right here i this is my stash of face masks that i got um just for like Christmas and just as I've gone out. Um, so I have some face masks that I can just kind of put on as I'm here at the house um, with her as well as just like eye patches, um, just a little self care that's also a face mask that I got. Um, so over the past few months, I've just been accumulating it to yeah have a little self care moment if that is even going to be possible um, as we are here when I'm on maternity leave. So. Um, here is my peri bottle and then here I have like this belly binder thing um, I'm not gonna take it out because I've got it folded in there pretty nicely but it's the Frida one I believe and basically it's just help like core support and add compression to kind of relieve pain and here I have some different things some sit bath spray from the brand mother love um, which I've really I haven't tried this brand but their stuff looks really good and they I want to try other things that they have um, but it's all organic and so we love that um let's see here are the ingredients um okay there we go here are the ingredients so they have really pretty clean stuff um and yeah so i got their sit bath spray um and then right here this is the After Ease um, from the brand Wish Garden. This is supposed to help with contractions. Focus. This is supposed to help with contractions um, that come after you give birth um, when your uterus is going back down. So, so pretty simple ingredients. Hopefully you can read that. Um, it's kind of losing focus, but it's also made with organic and wild crafted herbs. So good stuff. Then we have um, these Gluco bitters. 
this isn't necessarily postpartum focused or pregnancy focused. This is more just to help balance your um, blood sugar. So I plan to kind of have um, water right next to me when I am up breastfeeding at night and have this in it. Um, it's from the brand Organic Olivia, which I freaking love her. And she does have some stuff that is more specific to post postpartum and stuff. Um, but this is supposed to help balance your blood sugar. So since I'll be waking up so much and all that, I thought I would support my blood sugar um, by just kind of having this in there. I don't know if you can read that. Basically, it's apple cider vinegar infused with herbs. Um, but yeah, it's from the brand Organic Olivia and you can use this. It's honestly good for anyone and everyone. Then um, we have this Peri Balm uh, from the brand Earth Mama and it's, yeah, organic. I know a lot of people use this brand, so I've heard that this stuff is really good. That is for the bathroom and then here we have um, Progress Progressant Plus. Um, I don't know if I'm going to start using this right away. I've had this since before I was pregnant. See, so like, there's not that much left. But this helped my sister a lot postpartum. She had postpartum depression, um, anxiety, because her progesterone was really off. Um, and so this I actually used, and this helped me a lot with my acne because mine was off. Um, so I just kind of plan to use this if I'm feeling maybe down or, I don't know, I'm just going to play it by ear. But... I just put like a few drops on my wrist and rub it in and it helped me a lot with getting my hormones balanced. It's from the brand Young Living um, and it also helped my sister. So I have that there. And then somewhere in these little pockets, I had like a scrunchie. Oh yeah. I have like a little scrunchie and some hair ties. Um, I don't have much on these pockets, but this will be my little tote for the bathroom. I also have some extra witch hazel. Um, I actually made my own like pad sickles, which I hate that word, but anyways, um, by basically taking some of this and, um, I got some like aloe vera gel and put it on there, put a lot on there, sprayed a lot of witch hazel on there and added a few lavender drops. I can show you what I got, um, to do those things. It, I mean, it's just, this is from the shop that I used to own. Um, it's just organic witch hazel, that's it. And then I used the brand Young Living Lavender Essential Oil, as well as like organic aloe vera um, gel or whatever you wanna call it. Um, so there's that. I also have this, I'm gonna be using it in the bath. Um, my friend got this for me, shout out Sarah. And it's from the brand Mother Mother. Um, I haven't tried anything of theirs yet, but it is very postpartum focused, this brand, and all of their stuff is really clean. Here are the ingredients. So I'm really excited to use this. I'm gonna be so excited to take a bath for the first time after I get birth, because I know you can't take one right away. Um, so yeah, this will be like a nice little self-care healing situation. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this the herbal bath. And then I also, um, just have a heating pad ready to go by me to put on my uterus, my stomach, whatever, um, to bring some comfort. Another postpartum thing that I've gotten, I've gotten, I've just done so much research y'all on how vulnerable, like on postpartum and just how vulnerable women are and how oftentimes people just don't realize the depth of how much recovery your body needs. So, I am going to try to be proactive. Obviously, everyone's different. I'm still learning. This is my first child. I obviously don't know a ton, but after doing some research, I found this brand. This is Postpartum Restorative Tonic. Um, so this is for, yeah, a woman in postpartum. It's from the brand Milk Moon, and it just has all of these, um, like, herbs in it um, that are supposed to be really healing. Let me see if I can... It's kind of a glare. Hopefully you can kind of see it. I'll go slow. But all of these things are supposed to be really healing and kind of just help restore your body. Um, so you just take like a tablespoon or whatever a day, um, a few times a day, and really just help, like I said, balance your body back to... Um, yeah, where it was before or as close as it can. So this is one of the things I'm doing. 
um, as I'm going to try to implement this, I'm also going to be doing a lot with my diet um, and just go coming at it from a holistic standpoint. But I'm excited to try this and add it into my daily routine after I give birth. Okay, so starting at the top, we have my breast pump. Um, I have the Spruck. Spectra S1, I believe, um, which is basically the same as the S2, but this one you just have to keep plugged in. And so I actually got this one for free with my insurance, um, and I've just heard really good things about it. So this is the one that I plan to use at home. Just want to, yeah, be able to have a stash in the freezer. So we'll see how that all goes. Um, here I have a thermometer, um, this little brush to just mainly soothe her and calm her. I've seen videos of parents just like brushing their baby and it like just really brings a lot of comfort. Um, and then I have a little silverettes right here, which I have heard so many good things about. So I'm excited to use these. Um, and then I have some Earth Mama nipple butter right here. So. Both of those things are supposed to be soothing. Um, I'm excited to try it. These are um, just so you don't, I don't leak. Um, they're reusable. So I have a little bag that I can put them in and wash. These um, right here, I have, these go with the Spectra, the breast pumps. And then this is the Haka, I believe it's pronounced, um, which I'm sure you have heard of this, um, to catch my letdown when I'm feeding her on one side. And then these are, the little tubes that go with my breast pump that are just kind of chilling right here um, and trying to stay organized. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, I have a swaddle here um, just to have on hand. So that is the top part. Um, come down here, we have diapers and this is just like a few little socks and mittens or whatever, like hand covers or whatever to have extra right here. These are baby wipes. Here is um, some passies, y'all. I This isn't all the ones that we have. A lot of people have given us pacifiers, so we'll just see what she likes, if she even likes them. Um, but this one right here, let's see if the brand's on it. If not, I'll definitely tag it and put like a picture of the brand. I'm telling you, this one, is a million times softer and more like an actual nipple than any other pacifier that I have. I've heard lots of good things about these two, um, but this one I'm really excited to see if she takes it because I'm telling you, it is like very different than all the other ones. And then this is like, my aunt actually made this for me. Um, shout out Stephanie, if you're watching. Um, this is like to, you know, tag or like keep this on her um on her clothes so she doesn't lose it so we have some pacifiers here and then these are burp cloths so this is kind of like pumping station um with a few other like little things this is kind of like the diaper station right here then down here we have um i'm still kind of working on this to figure out what's most efficient here I have some extra outfits and onesies so I don't have to get up every time, but yeah, easy change. Um, here we have the Primally Pure Baby Powder um, to kind of, yeah, of obvious reasons. This is a great brand, so I'm excited to use it. The ingredients are great. Um, a little syringe for gripe water if we need to use it. Um, then down here, down here, I forget what these are for, but it's for like gas. So yeah, I just have that there. Um, here we have a diaper balm, as well as from the brand Earth Mama, as well as um, organic grass-fed whipped tallow. Um, so if you don't know what tallow is, I have a whole video on it. I'll tag it right here. This is from the brand that I used to own, um, Simple Living Co. So yeah. I've just gotten it, it from them, great brand. Um, it still exists, I just don't own it anymore. <laughs> so you could buy it from them, um, some gripe water. So just some things to have on hand. These are like extra little cloths to um, have for her, you know, if she spits up or whatever. Here I have, actually I'll go here first. 
this is like the nose Frida whatever that will like you like suck the snot out of her nose can't wait to do that lol and then back here um this is just like a little changing pad to have um so I can just change her anywhere this is a bag for those pads up here to wash so um yeah a little changing pad and that's kind of what I have right now obviously this will kind of probably adjust and change as I figure out what is the most practical and what I will need um the most but yeah I'm super excited um also look at her little basket with some toys I found these all right here the flower the paint and the stacking cups are all from the brand mushy or whatever however you pronounce it um and these little eggs which i thought would be cool for her to just practice when she gets a little older of course putting them in here and whatever i caught them at target for like three dollars um they're for easter and i think they're for kids to like paint them but we'll get to that eventually but i figured that would be kind of fun for her to do i have all these beef sticks if we bought them in bulk um and then i'll I still need to get a few snacks to just kind of have um, next to my bedside or wherever I'm sitting. Um, and then some books that I will read if I ever, if I get the chance or have time to. Um, but yeah, just like a little basket that I got um, from Target for like five bucks, I think. Okay, so here's some other things that I got. This is from the brand Legendary Milk, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of. But this is like the Sunflower Lectin. I don't know who actually knows how to say that. But anyways, this is for um, if you start to get clogged. Apparently, it's really helpful. So, and apparently this brand, it's like just really top-notch quality. They like use really quality ingredients. Um, it's all on their website. Here, these are all of their different supplements to help with milk supplies. So, you can actually buy, you can actually buy these um separately but i bought the bundle because they each have different key ingredients from what i understand apparently this is like the most popular but with everyone being so different um i bought the bundle to kind of see which one works best for me which key ingredients because i've heard that some people like you know of course what works for one person might actually be um more like won't be as good as for someone else that could actually like decrease the supplies so i'm excited to kind of see which one works best and then from there i can buy whatever i need but they're all organic all really just clean herbs um and all the different things that can help so i got this bundle which i got all three of these um this i got at target for like 12.99 it's the same brand you can buy this at target but i bought it offline Except for this, I bought it at Target. These are each a month supply. Um, and I got all three of these for $50 in a bundle. So that is a good deal to me. Hey guys, this is me from the future. Um, first of all, I'm just going to acknowledge my hair. Um, I have had the baby. So this is me in all my glory um, and postpartum. But this video is coming at you a little bit later. I am excited to do a follow-up video on everything that worked really well for me um, and maybe things that didn't. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me below. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.